Hey everyone, this is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my video in YouTube. Uh, yeah, so I have decided to migrate uh, to get the migration from Bootstrap version 3 to the version 4. So basically, Bootstrap just launched their new version which is version number 4 and it's not beta testing again. So it's officially version 4.0. But if you want to download the previous version that you can click here. So there's the Alpha 6 and version number 3.3.7 and so on. Okay. Well, the reason why I changed this uh, booster version. I mean, the reason why I take migrate from version 3 to the version 4 because in this version 4 that we are using flexbox and there's a lot new components and easy to use and of course it's easy to customize well before we're going to install i'm going to check it one by one well overview the component and option for laying booster project we are using the flexbox here so that's very nice Maybe you're familiar already with the Flexbox CSS, it's easy to use. And for the responsive, yes, perfectly. Well, that's why I want to migrate from version number 3 to the version number 4. And in the grid system that it, the XML class, I mean the div class, it's different now. It's now different because in the previous bootstrap that you have to call this md call and six or the value of the column but here we just need to call sm call sm and call sm and it's automatically divided by three column so sm is small uh, small size size okay well this is the grid option from the version number four so if you are using for the mobile that you only use call this okay and this is called sm md lg and xl well here you're able to make a new column in the one row in the different row but keep on the row so as you can see there's uh, w dash 100 this is divider of those column so you want to make uh, other column here but keep in the one row so you just need to divide by this class nice okay i think we can try to install so we're going to get in start here and there's introduction you can install it by online with the cdn or offline so we can try by online you can download here or you can also use the cdn here so we just need to copy oops just click copy and then we can try it oh here i'm going to use sublime text to create new directory here it's bs4 and index.html as the landing page with the HTML5 basic structure or you can also by the starter templates that you can get it from here and this is starter template just copy and included the bootstrap CDN well bootstrap has been installed why it's gonna be so fast yeah it was well we can check it in the, our browser currently i will use the google chrome the latest update here so this is the special font type from the bootstrap framework which is roboto so we're going to inspect here and the font says sorry the font families should be roboto here uh okay oh yeah in this bootstrap version that that we have native font type well 
I'm gonna tell you that if we are using Google Chrome, so the font app should be uh, Bling Max System font, but this is for the iOS. So sometimes we are using Seiko for the Windows, and Android is Roboto, and Healthy Ticania for the uh, web basic, and this is Emoji fonts. So they have the uh, they have a native font stack here. It's new. So whenever you open the website in the other browser, that you you will see the font is changing based on the web browser. So currently we are you see what's what is this? Let me check it. Mm, but there's no font family is in heart. So this is basically the uh, the parents and native stack font from the web browser so this is I think Roboto okay never mind so we're going back to the subline and here that I can try to create our column so here you just directly to create column and or you can start by the grid system how does it works it's pretty easy just use the div container here so i'm going to use container and my div okay why do i create my div here because i'm going to make uh, style.css for my div with the background it should be blue and i will upload the css here uh, sorry style.css save it and then preview there's nothing because we haven't setting the width and height save and then preview and here we go so how we gonna do to make it uh, full you can use container fleets it's not different from the latest bootstrap so the uh, the layout should be full on the screen so we are using container fit instead using the container okay so you are understand the difference now so I'm going to remove the that background and change to overflow hidden okay and in this section that I want to create the uh, row and the one row that I will use call here and header number 3 which is my post okay and in the my div that oops where's my CSS okay my div I will get the padding top 100% sorry 100 pixel and padding bottom 100 pixel so you will get like this and yeah like I mentioned before that we can we are able to create different row so you just need to create this uh, divider so here and we create call again here okay so I'm going to create basics a simple motivation with the lorem ipsum so what I do here I'm going to divide by three columns as you can see here so we create one uh, one different row below of that at uh, the first row here okay so I want to make it small maybe header for save and then preview okay nice now I just want to make it different and of course if this one okay and we have to setting the margin of this column into this title 
so here what I do is using my div and container so here my div and container uh, sorry and row and then call uh, number sorry not chill first chill one sorry and margin bottom is 20 should be 80 okay so this is how can we easily to divide the columns with the grid system on the bootstrap framework well I'm gonna to adding the hyperlink here okay so we create P and A and read more so the hyperlink it's basic from the bootstrap the hyperlink always blue like this so you can easily to add that hyperlink here below of the paragraph okay pretty nice is it well i'm going to try to use one of those components in the bootstrap so here what i want to use is the let's take a look first so we have the brick column here so i'm going to copy and make sure that you put it in the row here so here i will create the class like this and we call again and make it clear save and then try it oh okay so i copied uh, everything so yeah i have to um, okay i have to remove i select one so i'm gonna to remove those label sorry those breadcrumb and leave it one and here you go so but yeah so we have to select this first chill number two mm. okay in this design that anti chill because the simple motivation in the row in the column number oh, sorry my post in the column number two so I write here column number two so here we go oops it doesn't working let me find out what happen here and child number two it's like uh, my div row and column oh I think here should be and child number two ah, it doesn't working and I have special detail just here and class is title okay nice and we have to put the margin top to 20 pixel okay so this is brick count the one of components from uh, bootstrap number four and uh, number version four it's kayak good design with the with that background the color so smooth i love it well i think this is enough for the basic bootstrap version 4 and i hope you can migrate from uh, version 3 to the version 4 and then we can learn together of course well don't forget to like comment and share with your friends and leave your comment below on my video please thank you very much see you peace